Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by Peace Garage. Now I just got back from the gas station and I am super excited. Now I know what you're thinking. Who the hell gets excited going to the gas station? Well, I do, because I just went to get gas and this is what I found. I get out of my car, walk around to the gas pump and this is what I see. Standard 87, 89, 93 octane gasoline, but here's the problem. It contains 10% ethanol. Then I look right next to it. I look next to the pump and here we got ethanol free gas. Yes, 90 octane ethanol free gasoline. How exciting is that? And you're probably wondering why am I so excited to see an ethanol free gas pump? Well, it is more expensive. The ethanol free is about uh, 50 cents more a gallon, but believe me, it's really worth it and I'll show you why. The reason I was excited to see that ethanol free gasoline is because it's kind of spring now in Buffalo. It's almost spring and I went out to start my lawnmower, my edger and I had a problem and one of my lawn appliances didn't run and something unique about it led me to think about the gasoline and what I was putting in it. The lawn tool is an edger and it has a metal gas tank, a steel gas tank and when I took it out it wouldn't run and I drained the tank and I look in the bottom of the tank and it's full of rust. I'm wondering where did all this rust come from with gasoline in it all winter long? Well it gets cold in Buffalo, it gets really cold, zero degrees, not as cold as some other parts, but it was cold and I started thinking about the gasoline. I use 10% ethanol gasoline and what does ethanol do? Ethanol absorbs water and the water in the gasoline sits all winter long and then it freezes, it thaws, it freezes, it thaws and it rusts the tank on the inside. Not only that, I took the carburetor out, I pulled the bowl off and I was pulling out this white gooey substance and I knew for sure it was an ethanol problem. That can have a similar effect in your car. Your car might be running sluggish or you might be having troubles with performance and you could have too much moisture in your gasoline. Now, I always say refer to the owner's manual and the owner's manual for this car says right here as you can see use do not use gasoline with E85 or 15% higher ethanol that means if, if you if the gasoline has more than 15% ethanol in it it can ruin the engine or harm the engine and really hurt the performance so what is ethanol and why do they put it in gasoline well ethanol is a grain alcohol it's distilled and fermented using corn Adding the ethanol helps reduce the price of gasoline, but here's the other problem. When they take all that corn, which was previously used to feed cattle, well, now that corn is being diverted to make ethanol, and the feed corn is becoming more expensive. More expensive feed prices makes the beef cow more expensive, which is why you're paying $12.79 a pound for a steak. Now, there are ways to measure the percentage of ethanol in gasoline, but even if you could measure it, you can't do anything about it except maybe go buy your gas from another gas station. And if it's stayed at 10% ethanol on the pump, you got to trust it. So you may be wondering if there is ethanol in your gas. Well, we can learn a little bit more about ethanol and find out if there is ethanol in gasoline by doing a simple experiment. And you guys know I love experiments. All right, here's our two jars. I have two glass jars. And in this one, I'm going to pour gasoline that has 10% ethanol in it. And on the other side, I'm going to pour the 0% or no ethanol. Same amount of both. Okay. Now, while this one looks a little higher, they're different glass jars, so they're going to be different. They're different diameters, so this one's going to look a little lower. But this is 0%, 10%. Now, I'm going to add the same amount of water in each one. Just going to add water. Notice the difference? See how this one doesn't have milky white in there? Okay. I'll put this white piece of foam behind here so you can see the difference between the two. And I'll put the lids on. Now, I'm going to put this on nice and tight. And I'm going to shake these both up to simulate the engine running and vibration in the car. And I'll sit each one down. And here it is, just shaking up. You can watch that try and settle. See the water on the bottom here starting to form, which may not be able to, so let me go down here. There we go. You see the water starting to settle out, and in the middle we have that cloudy stuff right there, that middle line. 
settles out pretty quick. See the way that emulsifies? Now, do the same thing with the gasoline. The 0%. Okay, here's a 0% after just shaking. Watch how fast this settles out. Immediately, you don't even have a cloudy layer. It settles right out. And, I'll, and quickly, it settles right out. Now I'll do them both at the same time. Alright, freshly shaken, not stirred. Watch them settle. You notice the 0% ethanol settles real quick. The 10% ethanol is taking time because the water is suspended and mixed in with the ethanol and it takes a while to settle out. So you can see that there's ethanol in this gas. There's no ethanol in this gas. Now I'm going to exchange the white background for a black background and you can see how much emulsified water and alcohol there is at the bottom of this versus the zero percent. Very cloudy. That's all of the ethanol mixed in with the alcohol absorbed together. Now I really want to emulsify this so I'm going to take this and put this in a mixer, a shaker for 20 minutes. And here we go. Now it's settling out. The soluble alcohol, you can see it in the middle there. See that sludge starting to form? That's the white stuff that's left behind when this water evaporates. You can really see the difference. The 10% ethanol, the ethanol has mixed with the water there's 0% in this one, so there's no water mixed in with the gasoline. The ethanol has separated from the gasoline, emulsified or mixed in with the water, and now sits. So if you have any water in your system, it's going to mix with the alcohol, it'll stay behind, it'll cause parts to rust. Now there are a couple ways you could separate the alcohol from the water. You could distill it, which is to boil the water off of the alcohol because it boils at a different temperature, or you just add some salt. Now it may be difficult to see, but trapped in between the layer of water and gasoline are small pockets of alcohol. That's because alcohol has a specific density or specific gravity of 0.789 and water has a specific gravity of 1. Water is heavier, alcohol is lighter, it's going to settle to the surface, now it's trapped between the gasoline and the water. So I know what you're thinking. Okay, I have some water in my fuel system. I'm just going to add dry gas. Well, dry gas isn't like a dry paper towel. It's not going to go in there and dry up the water. Dry gas is actually alcohol. So by putting dry gas in your tank, you're actually adding more alcohol, which will retain more water. The purpose of it putting dry gas in your car is to prevent the water that is in your fuel system from freezing when it gets really cold. So here's the bottom line. Your car is not performing the way it should be. It's sluggish, it's stuttering, and you think it might be the fuel. You have a couple options. You can drain the fuel tank and start all over again, or you can drain it down or run it down as far as you can and find a gas station that has 0% ethanol gas and just put some 0% ethanol in there and run that full tank through there until it purges out all of the 10%. I've had many people come to me with cars that are performing poorly and we simply drain the gasoline. I do a test real quick to see how much ethanol is in there and if it's really bad, then I just drain the gas tank, put in some zero ethanol gas, run that through the system and it takes care of the problem. It's really funny how an edger that won't start made me look at the gasoline and come to the conclusion there's too much water in the gas causing the tank to rust and causing a sludge build up in the carburetor. Pretty interesting stuff. I love doing experiments like that. Now if you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button so you can stay up with all the neat projects I do here, experiments, building more cars when we get back to the Cobra. And if you'd like, click on the little bell on the bottom there and you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.